The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. We have Mike from Chicago on the line, and he has a question about digestion. Hi, Mike. Hey, guys. Happy Friday. Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. First of all, I just wanted to say that I love the show. I think it's uh, it's great programming, and I'm very much of a like mind when it comes to you know taking control of your own health and certainly doing your own research. Call now, toll free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight internationally at seven two seven four four five one zero four four. Now your hosts, Nico Dehan and Paige Clark. Welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle. I'm Nico DeHaan. This is Paige Clark. And Good morning, we're everyone. And we're here on a happy Friday, everybody. Uh, it's a beautiful day in downtown Clearwater. It's about 55 degrees, a little bit of rain and drizzle. We kind of had a tough week this week. With, we did. Uh, we, uh, cold. It actually felt like we were in another place. It yeah, was very cold. it really did. And, of course, I know everybody uh, in Atlanta was uh, snowed in. And but we're healthy roads. because we are creating generative heat because we live right. primal. We're fat burners. Our hands are warm. Our feet are warm. <laughs> It's, great. it's a great life. Yeah. Uh, please pick up my Health Signals newsletter, folks. It's only $10 a month. You get two issues a month on the first and uh, third Friday of every month. So next week we have a brand new issue coming out uh, for the February. So Lots please, of good stuff. please take care of that. The number here is 877-927-6648. Now I got uh, some nice emails and uh, uh, different responses from people talking about many different subjects. One uh, was particularly caught Todd. Here. From Todd, mm -hmm. yeah. And I like to read that. Uh, it says, uh, hey, Nico, uh, would you guys talk uh, uh, to this on your next show if you have time? I am gluten intolerant, among, uh, among other things. I find it compelling, and I'm thinking I should try this out myself. He's referring to this article, which, uh, let's see. And while you're pulling it up, this article that he posted, um, Are We Chasing the Wrong Villain?, uh, it had some very compelling information in it, and it's yeah. not unlike what any of my clients would, would, would tell you. They uh -huh. hear me say all the time. Okay. And in the article, the author, who is, I guess, Bill Sardi, the vitamin supplement answer man, right. <laughs> you know, he talks a little bit about, you know, is it, again, an indication of scurvy? Uh-huh. Yeah, and I thought this was pretty interesting. Vitamin C deficiency. Right. And when we say vitamin C deficiency, we weren't born with a pharmaceutical vitamin C deficiency, meaning ascorbic acid, which is oftentimes created from genetically modified corn products. Right. We're talking about the whole food vitamin C. That is exactly right. If you get it from whole foods, then uh, you have uh, you know, a great source for it, and especially if uh, you can find it in foods that uh, are what we call more primal, more natural foods, uh, mm -hmm. ones that are today organic. Mm -hmm. uh, without pesticides. It's very important. And uh, what this research kind of shows that if you up your vitamin C to a high, pretty high level of 2,000, really not that high. Because, Again, they're uh, using the pharmaceutical equivalent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, another thing uh, that uh, is going on here is my question is always, why would you choose the, this type of food anyway? Well, you know, I think that our primal people knew. They knew that they needed these nutritional elements. No, they, I'm talking about the gluten part of oh, food. Oh, I got you. In yeah. other words, why would we need the gluten? Well, that's kind of what our whole premise is, that, that originally those were not foods that, that, that we the ate. primal so person sat a, around in. And today, uh, perhaps a little more difficult because we find gluten in many of the processed foods. Mm -hmm. They use it in uh, the manufacturing of these processed foods. Uh, so uh, if you're going out to eat or if you're using packaged foods, you're probably going to find some gluten in it. Mm -hmm. So that probably is a good reason to maybe to talk about this therapy of upping the vitamin C and uh, having that, uh, you know, help you. So let's talk a little bit about in this article. Well, uh, another thing I wanted to really touch on, because uh, there's a, a lot of studies also going on about how they're feeding people just low doses of gluten to get your body used to it because mm -hmm. they're getting, giving you a immune response. And they're also doing this with children in Europe uh, with peanuts. Pe and peanut allergies are pretty prevalent. I have a peanut allergy myself because I used to eat a lot of them. And then finally, I started breaking out and things. But uh, so they're feeding people, uh, the children, real low doses of peanuts. And then over time, they start getting used to it. Well, that's a lot of what I do in my office is yeah. the energetic signature. Right. It's based on the simple homeopathic principle, like cures like. Yes. A small dose small can dose. help to turn it around. Right. And so that makes a lot of sense. It does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the other thing is, too, why would you want to eat peanuts anyway? They're not really a nut. 
first of all. So mm -hmm. they're not, there's nothing really nutrition. Yeah, there's some proteins in it. Those proteins are very hard for us to digest. Mm -hmm. The gluten proteins we know are very hard to digest for us as being uh, homo sapiens. So why go, even go down that road? Why not clean up your act in the first place like we're trying to do by living primal and going on the paleo or primal diet and eliminating those foods? Mm -hmm. And then I think you're really doing. So my suggestion to Todd would be, why even go there? Yeah. Why not just clean up your act? Well, and that's what he said. He's wanting to start to implement these changes. Yeah, well, and nothing wrong with upping, upping your vitamin C either. Yeah, and th that's the point I want to make. Yeah. Um, if you've been in my office, pretty much one of the things that I do is I say you need to take a whole food vitamin C. Okay. I, I have a couple that I like, but mm -hmm. the key is the word is, again, whole food so vitamin C. So what are those C. ones you like? Um, I like anything that comes from the natural fruit amla or camu camu. Okay, okay, or the acerola, and then I like the bioflavonoids. Uh -huh. I have a product, and I'm going to put it out here for the show since it's recorded, that if any of you all call and do a consult with me, you already know you get 15 minutes free. I always give a lot of time. Sure. I'm going to give you a gift certificate for $50 for a huge bottle of this whole food vitamin C. Oh, cool. How nice is that? Yeah. And uh, one, of our, one of my brand partners does that, that they'll send that. So if you call, and we'll kind of go over this. But well, you, uh, they can reach you by uh, just email to, me a page yeah. at tfnn.com, exactly. and if you set up, you know, a consult, we will go over some things, including why vitamin C is important. You know, even in this article, I saw it. I thought I created it. Actually, I know I didn't create it, but it's as I explained to my clients yeah. that humans and guinea pigs had a genetic mutation that made it so that we do not manufacture our own vitamin C. Dogs, cats, and other animals manufacture their own vitamin C right. out of the food they eat. So. We can also take a look at other mindful cultures like the Ayurvedic uh, traditions. Right. Um, uh, Trifala, which is a three-ingredient um, herbal supplement that has a history of hundreds and thousands of years mm -hmm. in Ayurvedic sciences, the, cre the, the primary ingredient is mm -hmm. the amla berry. And uh, from an evidence-based medicine standpoint, amla has tremendous... Uh, you know, research showing mm -hmm. its 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 benefits and helping to heal mucosal linings. Mm -hmm. And if you stop and think of it, you know, the gums with this, going back to scurvy. You know, that's an interesting story how that all happened. Anyways, they you know the limes right. were starting to develop irritation. So what we can say is what's causing the irritation? Well, eating foods that we're not supposed to eat, uh -huh. right? Yeah, like the nuts and like the the grains. But it wasn't that. Vitamin ascorbic acid, which is being sold as vitamin C, really cured it. It was the lime. This the whole That's family. That's why they call them lime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the whole the family, whole of, family of, of it. So the benefit in getting the vitamin C family is getting it in the whole foods. Yeah. So, so uh, having your uh, little lemon drink or lime drink in the morning with a little warm water is actually a perfect. big part of it. Yeah. And then, then let me ask you a question because you're really an expert on the, the vitamins. So if you're putting a little bit of lime in some water, how much does that translate to the 2,000 IUs of uh, vitamin C that we want? I don't know. Okay. However, I'm a firm believer that, again, when we've been told all this, we need this uh, milligram and that, is this because somebody wants to quantify it? Mm -hmm. Or remember, if you believe that everything is energy, yeah. you know, why do homeopathics work? Homeopathics don't always have even a milligram. It's right. the energetic signature of something. Right. Like, like why does biofeedback work? Factor, right. So, that's, so when you get the whole food, you're getting the true energetic signature of yeah. vitamin C. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so this is a great article. What we saw in it, just to, to kind of refrain. And it's called uh, the celiac, uh, gluten celiac gluten intolerance. Celiac gluten intolerance. Are we chasing the wrong vitamin? Um, it, when they added vitamin C uh, to the Petri dishes where they were testing a gliadin protein, the, the protein that's found in wheat, uh, the results were astounding in terms yeah. of reduction in inflammation. So regardless of whether or not you're going to go gluten-free, which, you know, we feel strongly that it really improves a lot of health challenges that people yes. are facing today, uh, we need vitamin C. Why? Because vitamin C is no longer manufactured by the human being. Along and it's with an anti-inflammatory, anti too. It's an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. Um, ancient cultures such as the Hindus and so forth have known for years that the anti-aging rejuvenation supplement uh, of AMLA mm -hmm. is highly effective. And if we, you know, we also know that you know the vitamin C is very effective in you know in, in healing our mucous membranes. If you stop and think about it, you know the gums. You know you've heard about the tie-in between our gum health and our cardiovascular health. Well. 
bacteria that may be in the gums also goes to affect the whole arterial system. That is why vitamin C is so, such a, a great additive. Yeah. So I have most people, I have a little case I give everybody, and it's, their, I call it their di digestive arsenal. Mm -hmm. You know, the biggest challenge we run is digesting our food, absorbing our food, and disinfecting our food. So really a lot of, you know, you know, we've talked about different things, eating coconut oil, eating charcoal, eating digestive enzymes, increasing HCL and potassium synergists. Well, vitamin C capsule is just something I take with every meal. Why not? Yeah. And this article just Six really seven. hit a great yeah. point. I like it, yeah. So, so it's really interesting to me the, uh, because I had never seen the connection of the vitamin C to uh, celiac, to the tolerance. I celiac. hadn't either, but it starts to make a lot of sense that yeah. maybe some of the inflammatory vascular infl inflammation that we're seeing uh, is a result of the toxins. The question is, our food is the biggest uh, assault to our immune system. Right. Our immune system immediately after a meal just says, holy cow, what's coming in? I mean, it has to start to determine, is this Well, you know, if you're feeling kind of down and everything like that, and all of a sudden you have a meal, and all of a sudden your energy picks up, and you feel that reaction within 15 or 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt. I mean, a lot of times I just forget to eat, and then I, I start to get a little tired, and I feel not quite right, and then I eat, and all of a sudden the response is right there. It's amazing. But I'm also saying... Here, what I'm saying mm -hmm. is that from an immune system standpoint, yeah. that one of the greatest insults we get, our biggest uh, exposure to bacteria, virus, fungus, is through the food supply. And toxins. Well, yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. Toxins. Yeah. I mean, w in the food supply is how we get exposed to toxins. Yeah. Any time we can provide an arsenal of defense, and vitamin C is one in the way mm -hmm. of antioxidants, you know, guys... I guess we're tired of people saying, oh, I'm so tired of hearing about pills. My, our soil does not have any minerals in it anymore. Yeah, yeah, this is just, thing. we have to engineer our nutritional health. It is. We have to yeah. be food engineers. We have to be self-care engineers. Yeah. And uh, so when we're talking about nutrition, I really have some other stuff I want to talk about. You know, I get it. I got a call the other day. It says, just what is the most important thing? You know? <laughs> and it's a real hard question to answer, but. Um, Being you know, mindful, I guess. Exactly. Like our other great show, yeah. uh, Mindful Living with uh, Tom O'Brien and Allie Ford. And yeah. it was a great episode this last week. I hope everybody get, takes a, a moan out and take a look at that because, uh, you know, it, it ties right into what we're doing on this show. So uh, living a primal lifestyle is mindful living as far as I'm concerned. It is. Yeah. It is. It really is. Living primal, living, getting down to the core of what's the most important things, yeah. the primal things. So, Todd, the bottom line in this whole thing is I think uh, you have to, of course, avoid the gluten. I think uh, going uh, and uh, increasing your vitamin C level, great thing to do, uh, mm -hmm. no matter what. Uh, Anything I, that decreases inflammation is going to be beneficial exactly. if you're having an intolerance and yeah. showing sensitivity. So we're glad you're taking a look at taking care yeah, of your own health. Thanks a lot for writing us. Uh, yes. We really do appreciate that, and we look at every email that we get. So remember, if you want to call me and have a consult, I will give you a $50 gift card yeah. no, to don't get call vitamin C by nature. Page at email TFN. me, page at TFNN. And we'll be right back. The number is 877-927-6648. And take a couple minutes out. And please check my newsletter out and subscribe. We'll be right back. You've heard Nico DeHaan as co-host of Living a Primal Lifestyle, which airs every Friday at noon Eastern Time on TFNN. And would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. 
you take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. And welcome back to Living a Primal Lifestyle. We've just been talking about using whole food vitamin C to kind of keep the inflammation down in our bodies. And uh, Daryl made a comment in the chat room that his daughter feeds her guinea pig uh, bell peppers, red bell peppers, every day to give her guinea pig vitamin C. It's exactly like I said in, in that article. Mm -hmm. And one of my big points, I tell my clients, if you do nothing else, we do no, we no longer, we lost the ability to make vitamin C. Who knows? Maybe it was the introduction in grains. Wow. You know, we genetically mutated so that we do not produce our own vitamin C. We must get it from nature. And another animal is the guinea pig. And if you all have ever and watched bats. a guinea and bats, yeah, and fruit bats, uh, interesting guinea pigs are known to just drop dead of heart attacks. Yeah. So what do humans and do? And it makes we, sense that uh, bats don't because that's just all they eat is fruit. Right, exactly. Yeah, exactly so maybe, it. and the gorilla eats a bunch of fruit. Yeah. So the point is, guys, we need. Whole food, vitamin C, healthy, and the full spectrum of vitamin C. Again, it's not an isolated nutrient. If you go to your store and you're buying the cheap stuff, it's not going to do the job. Yeah. So uh, just one more point. This is my special of the week. If you call me, you already have 15 minutes free because you're a tiger and a tigress. I, if you book a consult with me, I'm going to send you a gift card, and you will you can get up to a $50 bottle of vitamin C free. How's that? Well. Wow. Okay. Email me at page at tfnn.com this week only, all right? So 
We found this article. We've been talking a lot about the primal things, and you know, water is a primal and, and, and necessary. We yeah, and uh, up here I've got uh, this set up to. Uh, it's an article that Paige sent me. DC uh, Dead Sea uh, creatures, creatures cover 98 percent of the ocean floor after Fukushima. So this article goes kind of in depth about it, and uh, I really like this because it talks about uh, the ocean floor, and uh, normally there's a, a covering that <laughs> they call goes, it snot. Yeah, they normally call it this sea snot. snot. Yeah. yeah, the sea snot is this is normally all the way up until we had the Fukushima disaster guys there was only a 1% covering of this sea snot Our, the ocean floor now has 98%. Yeah, there's this actually just, uh, off the coast of uh, California, they've been doing analysis for about uh, 25 years or so, and uh, they've been monitoring this, and now they're finding that uh, there's, you know, this uh, sea snot, of course, is uh, dead marine life. It uh, includes uh, fish and planting, uh, plant, uh, plankton, uh, feces, and other organic uh, nutrients, and now they're finding that they're, it's a lot of it's dead instead of alive. Uh, it's a very interesting article because, uh, you know, Fukushima is involved in this, and we, I don't think we really know the extent. But uh, well, we're not, being, we're not really being told all the facts so that we can make uh, intelligent decisions for our health people. And you need to start looking at the information about Fukushima. In this article, it says that uh, the measurements were taken in March of 2012. The sea snot levels were about 1%. Just a few months later, they had grown to 98%, and they're yep. staying there. Well, I found this interesting. Uh, let me bring it up here. It's, uh, it, it's an app I put on my uh, uh, iPad here. It's called SafeCast. Mm -hmm. And what SafeCast has done, uh, kind of like Google uh, has done, where they take pictures of everything and videos right. of everything around, they're actually measuring street by street, and not only in Japan, but all over the world, they have these monitors that people can carry with them and then they post what it is what's going on this week with radiation mm -hmm. and we're finding that of course around Fukushima now and I've got it up here called SafeCast so you can go to the uh, site it's called SafeCast.com and uh, it's a free app that's really, really interesting, yeah. yeah let's and you see. can, when you look at the Fukushima, you can see that you know they got the real uh, yellow. On what, there. what is this measuring? Uh, it's measuring the radiation. Okay. Okay, on each street, and then you go down to Tokyo, and you can see it's a little bit less. And then if you come over to the United States, you can see that actually we don't have a lot. We can't show this on the screen right no, now, I can't but show that's it okay. On the screen, but but uh, you can go to it, yeah. safecast.org. And just about everywhere in the United States and Canada and in Europe, you can find out what the ra radiation level is. So that's pretty cool. And uh, it's not that bad. You know, here in, uh, we're, we're down in normal levels here mm -hmm. in Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, other parts of the nation, you can see it's a little bit higher in California, but not uh, something that you're going to die from. Right. I don't know what's really happening in the oceans. And uh, mm -hmm. we've had a uh, guest on before, uh, Nora Gagadis, who says she's not eating any fish from the ocean. Uh, I still eat fish. I, I'm very careful where it comes from. So people are asking, of course, in the chat room, uh, Danny is saying, is it safe to eat Pacific salmon? I think if you uh, eat the wild salmon from Alaska, the coho salmon, uh, those things I, I think are pretty safe. Uh, yeah. I don't find any uh, buddy that says, hey, we've got a lot of high radiation in those things. But, again, you need to be careful. Uh, if you uh, go to inland uh, seas, then you probably have a better chance of uh, getting less radiation in your fish. But mm -hmm. I don't see anywhere that says that we're really uh, eating a lot of fish that has a high spike. Some people disagree. You kind of have to make your own decisions. Uh, a, a good substitute would be uh, grass-fed beef. Right. Right. And you know what? That brings us to a little article well, about, the, out, so, about uh, the salmon. We'll be back when we get back. We're going to talk about the health of our water. Yep. Sounds great. With over three decades of trading experience, Andy Hecht brings a tremendous amount of knowledge and expertise to each weekly issue of his newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report. The Technomental Commodity Report gives you Andy's unique technomental analysis of the commodities market, a combination of technicals and fundamental analysis which he has developed and perfected over his many years of trading. The Technomental Commodity Report is only $49 a month, and right now you can get a full month-long trial subscription while paying absolutely nothing. See for yourself the kind of weekly report Andy delivers to his subscribers every Thursday morning. 
You'll receive specific stock, ETF, and option trades based on Andy's analysis, so no futures account is required. For all the details and to start your month-long free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, visit TFNN.com today. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Backtech Environmental. For more information, just click the Backtech banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back to the show, folks. Nico here and Paige on Living a Primal Lifestyle, where we were talking about uh, the oceans and uh, the fish and that. And in, in the uh, chat room, uh, uh, Danny was asking, do you think it's safe to eat specific salmon? And could and, we be more Pacific? <laughs> yeah, and so, <laughs> so just for the are. halibut. Uh, <laughs> I've got a picture up here that uh, really describes, uh, really shows you actually what the difference is between farm rays, which is this one right here, and the wild salmon. So you can see the difference in the color alone. And yeah, see, so many people go to the grocery store and they buy salmon and they think because it says Norwegian farm raise or something, you know, this is, this is something you need to be concerned about because quite actually that right piece, that farm raised salmon, is actually nickel gray and they dye it. Yeah. So salmon that is farm raised does not create the natural astaxanthin, the fat-soluble super antioxidant found in that beautiful pink-red color of salmon. You can see it here in the packages, mm -hmm. too, is a, is a big mm -hmm. difference. And folks, you know, one of the things that I found in this farm-raised salmon, too, is there's this kind of white ooze 
that's surrounding it, and if you squeeze it, it oozes. In the farm raised. Yeah, in the farm yes. raised, it's, it, it's, this white stuff comes out of it. It's uh, pretty gross, actually. Yeah. And there was just recently uh, something, I was trying to put my hands on it, and gosh, I read so much, um, about, I think it came out on Natural News, the danger that they're finding that a lot of these farm raised people are using a synthetic, here we go again, a synthetic formed astaxanthin that is not... So they're not, feeding the fish. So they're feeding the farm raised fish, to make it that kind of uh, puny, you know, salmon yeah. color, they're, they're using a synthetic astaxanthin because they don't want to spend the money on the real astaxanthin. And then we're taking that in our bodies and there's some adverse effects. Yeah, and, and Friday night is uh, the night that uh, Ellen and I go out for dinner. And uh, a lot of times we go to Bonefish and our server there, we know really well, Dave. Mm -hmm. And uh, we ask him about the which is farmed fish and which is not. And uh, what he says uh, about the salmon that they have, the, they call it the Atlantic salmon which is the first clue that it's going yeah, to be farm-raised. Yeah, if it says Atlantic, that's... Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is they say, well, he says they dye it. So they put a red dye into it to make it l more red. Yeah, so and that's the key. It's uh, nice that he's honest about it. I can't quite, thing. I'm trying to look for it right here. I can't get my hands on the article, but just recently, you know, some exposure um, that the astaxanthin used by these farm raised is potentially a dangerous form. And it's such a wonderful fat-soluble nutrient that crosses the blood-brain barrier, you know, regenerates our brains and our eyes yep. and so forth. So, so, you know, yes, eat Pacific salmon. We like, I like it. If you can't find it in your markets, you can't find it on the menu at your restaurants, vitalchoice.com. Now, we, ship it direct here since to we're talking about fish in that, we're also talking about water. Yes. And uh, now we're going to have a, a guest on next week. With we, us. we are. We are going to have uh, a local water researcher, uh, Mr. Winston Kale, is going to come on and talk to us because that's what we believe. It really gets down to the basic things, guys. Primal things are having access to clean water. <laughs> so we're going to just really enjoy talking to him and talking about the pros and cons of different types of water. And, uh, you know, I think he's going to share with us some of his developments and, and research items. And, and this is a subject dear to my heart because ever since 1969, uh, after I, get, I got out of college, I uh, started exploring, you know, dr drinking water. And, of course, uh, in Detroit, the very good tasting water, but it was fluoride in the water. And that's when I made my decision many years ago to drink just distilled water. And I've been drinking distilled water ever since. I never drink anything else. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that uh, is one of the reasons why I feel great all mm -hmm. the time and one of the things, uh, reasons why I'm very healthy. And since I started, you know, I'm entering my sixth year being primal now and uh, haven't got the flu, haven't got a cold. My allergies are basically gone. I still feel a little bit here and there during the mm -hmm. seasonal change. But uh, I think the water is one of the real big keys of uh, keeping me healthy. And I have to say something. I believe the same yep. thing. And, and, you know, this is the thing. Uh, Winston is very knowledgeable and has researched different devices. I have a lot of people that ask me, well, what do you think about this alkaline water machine? And a lot of them, I just, it's, it's not there. But really what I want to get down to is I don't want to argue about, you know, this, that, or the other. I want you to get some information and make the choice for yourself. We all make our choices, and, and the key is, I think, what it comes down to, it's getting the right spin and the right charge on the water. Yeah, and, and the alkaline water, I've never, you know, I mean, yeah, you can get alkalized, but why not alkalize yourself with food? Mm -hmm. And that's something we can explore with, with uh, Winston. You know, again, we're going to have him on because I think he's somewhat, this is my concern, we are being systemically drip poisoned by fluoride either way whether it's alkaline or distilled or ro or or filtered let's get some of these man-made toxins that are being added and it got me thinking i called winston had a nice chat with him today mm -hmm. and i said well you just come on you know you can tell us your perspective and 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 tell us you know maybe some of of his products and so forth will resonate i i like a lot of his work yep. but he sent me um uh, an email and it's kind of you know what they don't want you to know about fluoride and if many of you've been watching the show for a while you know, I was pretty involved in the, the fight to remove fluoride from Pinellas County, where we have, you know, I don't know how many million people. Well, we voted it out, and they said, well, we changed our mind. We're going to bring it in anyway. Yeah, some yeah. pockets got well, lined, I think. I'm sure they did. And, yes. um, but uh, a lot of people don't realize that fluoride is one of the basic ingredients in both Prozac and sarin, a nerve gas. And um, so it's a, it's a hazardous waste, folks, and I want us to start realizing that, you know, we're bathing in it, we're drinking it, and even if we're buying bottled waters, oftentimes that's not removed. Right. And that's my interest in how can we move towards getting the fluoride and the chloramines 
And, you know, Winston's just a, a very interesting yeah. person. So I, I thought that was nice. He's going to come by and yeah. maybe it, he'll it have It always boggles my us. mind that uh, we have to pay to have the fluoride in the water. Then we have to pay to get the fluoride out of the water so we can use it. And, <laughs> and, 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 and listen to this. It's historically been quite expensive to properly dispose of until the aluminum industry sold the politicians and then the publics on the terrifically insane but highly profitable idea of municipalities buying the toxic hydrofluorosilic acid waste product from the aluminum and phosphate industries, buying it at a, listen to this guys, 20,000% markup and then injecting it, dilution is the solution to the pollution and letting it, you know, dripping it out it solved their problem of having to uh, clean up their own mess from yeah. their industry and uh, we're now paying the consequences of and I was horrified the other day watching a couple go to Walgreens and go down the counter and buy a nursery water What's that? fluoridated nursery water you're kidding me. so literally they are actually you know putting oh. tell and they and, and you know what because of that little subliminal message that fluoride is wow. good for them they're actually creating we have an epidemic of dental fluorosis which is teeth that are falling apart. It has nothing to do with cavities. It's the teeth are falling apart from yeah. the fluoride, yeah. and the teeth are only a hint of what's going on into the yeah. body. And it's in the toothpaste, too, and Jay in the chat room just says, even my dentist says it's not a big deal. Yeah, well, exactly. And, you know, uh, unfortunately, if you're looking for your dentist to get health information, remember, yeah. dentists have the lowest life expectancy of any healthcare professional, average wow. 55 years. They've been exposed to toxic mercury. They've been exposed to toxic fluoride. And they honestly probably suffer a lot of depression because at some point many of them realize that they have been, you know, exposed. They, they were not told of the risks to their own health mm -hmm. or the risks they've, in, you know, yeah. created for their own clients. So we'll talk with Winston next week and, yeah. you know. I'm excited. And we'll have him on. It'll be great. Yeah. Now, another thing that you uh, sent me was something that I don't get involved in too much, but I think it's a very interesting study, uh, a scary study for uh, hormone replacement therapy. HRT, yeah, right. HRT. Okay, yes. Yeah, so so I've got to catch up. Let's talk about that a little bit. Right. Because this right. uh, article was uh, written in the Canadian Medical Association Journal. Mm -hmm. And it reveals that women who actively or, or uh, previously used HRT had a 1.5 greater likelihood of developing acute pancreatitis. 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 Which is a inflammation of the pancreas. Well, you know, one of my focuses in what I do with my health coaching and educating, because I believe the new movement is self-care, is that hormones are a real part of our anti-aging arsenal. Yeah. And the only hormones that are totally natural to your body are the hormones that your own body makes. And I like to restore versus replace. Makes sense to me. Restore function instead of replacing function. Well, you let your body handle it. I think replacement ultimately on a long-term chronicity or, you know, on an annuity. And I think this is what I see when I see the anti-aging doctors. Don't get me wrong. I'm not opposed to maybe a pulsing of mm -hmm. some bioidentical hormones. That's the key word, BHRT, bioidentical hormone replacement, versus HRT, synthetic horse, you know, hormone replacement, yeah. which is usually derived from the urine of pregnant mares. And last time I looked, I'm not a horse, are you? No. Okay. So no. I don't want horse hormones in my body. I want my own hormones in my body optimized. And occasionally, there's research that shows that uh, a pulsing or a short trial, you hear the key words there, guys? A short trial can actually encourage and remind your body how to make your own. And then using, I use home homeopathy and I use herbals to help people get a balance. And I have uh, worked with a researcher and doctor and formulator, 20,000 saliva tests create balanced hormones. Yeah. And I'm very uh, happy with now that. Now, let me ask you a question about uh, HRTs. When, they, when did they start developing this and having women on this? How well, long has this been? We call this the estrogen cash cow. Yeah. There's a lot of money made, you of know, course, because yeah. women, uh, I think of that, is it the Beatles song, Mommy's Little Helper? You know? mm -hmm, yeah. Well, I mean, the whole idea that mommy needed a helper. I don't know where mm -hmm. mommy needed a helper. You know, whether it be emotion. Well, I'm just know. wondering where this whole thing started that women actually needed this because it had to be, I mean, thousands of years uh, have gone by where people, the, the women never had this, and then all of a sudden now, is there something in our diet or in our environment? Absolutely. Well, think about it. Let's okay. go back to what we believe. Okay. Women have been, well, women were very involved in tribal power for right. years, but the wisdom of tribes, the wisdom of ancient societies, mindful societies, like we're learning about, mm -hmm. you know, through our yogic and 
Chinese medicine friends. You know, there was passed down wisdom of herbal remedies, that you know, the, the natural medicines, the natural foods that would help us be balanced and, mm -hmm. and in harmony and suffer very few side effects as we make these transitions. Yeah. However, with the introduction of synthetics, chemicals, pesticides, uh, we have what we call xenobiotics. Yeah. Xeno meaning estrogen mimics. Mm -hmm. They go in and activate the estrogen receptors on the cell membrane. Yeah. And estrogen is the death hormone or the stress hormone, as Dr. Hans Seeley taught us. Uh -huh. And um, when, when someone is in a high estrogen level, it is a, uh, a body or a situation that's telling everything to grow and produce and multiply. Think of cancer cells. Think of uterus proliferation. Mm -hmm. Think of breast tissue proliferation. Mm -hmm. Even think of like a, a, a pregnant woman. If it weren't for the beautiful nature of an elevated progesterone, see this is the key guys, we've been all thought made to think that estrogen is the sexy female hormone, mm -hmm. estrogen is not the sexy female hormone, progesterone is, and testosterone actually. Okay. Because testosterone can aromatize into a healthy dose mm -hmm. of estrogen and then by way of properly working with someone who knows how to help you break down your estrogens into healthy estrogens, you can you kind of really feel great and not feel this. So going back in the 40s, 50s, women probably with the advent of processed packaged foods and bottles and convenience items and chemicals that we've been added, we started having estrogen dominance. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my, my philosophy that estrogen is affecting us in ways that is having catastrophic events on our health is, take a look, as men age, they become women. Mm -hmm. And as women age, they become men. W women start to look like old men, I think. This is my little philosophy. Mm -hmm. Men start to get like women. They're cold. Oh, I'm cold. You know, and women are going, ah, throw my clothes off. Well, you know, because we're hot. You yeah. know, and you know how that goes. Yeah. And I really think that's the mismanagement of estrogen. Mm -hmm. Men are getting too much estrogen relative to their testosterone. Women, even though their estrogen has plummeted, their progesterone has plummeted way, way more. So yeah. I absolutely love to help people balance hormones. And, you know, my real, my real key is, first of all, well, the message I'd like to get across to you is... Um, the standard conventional hormone replacement therapy is a dangerous practice, in my, you know, my opinion. Yeah. Uh, we're not horses. We don't need horses' hormones. Right. Okay. Yeah, I agree. And yeah. so, so work with someone who knows how to help you naturally balance your hormones. And for God's sake, do not, women, let your doctor say you're having hot flashes put you on the estrogen patch without also putting you on natural progesterone. That is a recipe for disaster, in yeah. my opinion. So there's a, a bunch of suggestions in here talking about what actually can help, and uh, they name uh, things like exercise, mm -hmm. common sense. Mm -hmm. They also name flaxseed and black coal hash and... Uh, natural progesterone. Natural. Yeah. Uh, okay. One thing I, I do want to say, though, you know, when they're talking about flax seeds and that, and uh, a lot of people come up to me, well, I take flax seeds for omega-3s and that. And you, another thing I need people to understand is by the way we cultivate our plants and our seeds and everything like that, we always have a tendency when we're cultivating these to go to the sweet side. So all the sourness of the seed and everything like that, we kind of breed that out and that changes the omega-3, omega-6 balance that we always mm -hmm. talk about. So your flax seeds these days are not the flax seeds of 10,000 years ago that probably had a great omega-3 balance with the omega-6. It's now more like kind of like the chicken and the uh, and the pig. Now, mm -hmm. Those uh, those two animals are really susceptible to the change in their food, mm -hmm. not as much as a cow. Mm -hmm. A cow, you know, you're still, even if it's a corn-fed cow, it's still pretty good, but a corn-fed chicken, uh-uh, that's mm -hmm. a bad thing, mm -hmm. and it really or shows up. Or a soy-fed chicken. Or a soy-fed chicken, right. even worse, and then, of course, the Why soy Why do you think the breasts of the chickens now, you look at the chicken meat, yeah. you know, they're, they're like this big, it almost looks like yeah. a small turkey. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Well, no, they don't fly anymore. They, no, they yeah, can't. Exactly. Yep. So. Anyway, folks, we have another segment coming up. Please stick around. The number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call. You can, of course, write us at uh, nico at tfnn.com, page at tfnn.com, and get her great advice and uh, those uh, coupons for uh, the... Uh, by Nature. Yep, that's it. Okay, we'll be right back. Pick up my Health Signals newsletter while you're at it, please. You can get some more information about how to stay healthy and primal. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. 
Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Wouldn't it be great if you could get a red light green light indicator that gives you signals on 25 different futures contracts now you can with taz signal box this red light green light market profile system dynamically updates 24 hours a day and provides you with important trend and trade signals on nine different commodities nine different indices and eight different currencies right now you can receive a two-week free trial to taz signal box for all the details and to find out how the signal box works visit the front page of tfnn.com Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the Forex market, and more. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. Up next, the Diagnostics Trading Hour with Daryl Martin here on TFNN. Welcome, Welcome back, back, folks. It's uh, Nico and Paige here on Living a Primal Lifestyle. And uh, what were we talking about? Uh, oh, you know, uh, somebody made the comment about, uh, you know, if chickens could fly, we wouldn't be eating them. Well, you know what? You know, you have to think more like a duck than a chicken. Stop and think about it. Chickens eat grains. Mm -hmm. Ducks eat fat, and ducks have nice fat. And what can they do? They can fly and migrate. Yeah, and that's why their breasts are smaller and more muscular and mm -hmm. very uh, good tasting. Meat, yeah, very know? good. So. Uh, yeah, well, they, well, of course, we bred the chickens to uh, be uh, tasty. Yeah, we and, created yeah, it. Yeah, we created it. But uh, Although, wild I chickens, think, I think. I don't think the chickens in the store, I very rarely, even when I buy chicken, I don't like breast meat. I mean, it tastes to me. Yeah, I never buy the breast meat. I just buy the quarter legs and, mm -hmm. and the wings. And mm -hmm. things, and that tastes the best for me. And I get them from uh, a great source, uh, White Pastures uh, in Georgia. And, mm -hmm. uh, 
They're pasture-raised chickens. Pasture-raised chickens. And that's, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I want them eating bugs and worms and scratching around and having real strong legs. And, and I uh, get my yeah. eggs at the Saturday morning market from yeah. the dancing goat because she, you know, it's like I asked her, I said, are you feeding these chickens genetically modified soy? She goes, I don't feed my chickens anything. They get what they find, bugs, yeah. and that's what I want. Yeah. In the chat room, they're talking about GABA, and I really don't. Uh, it's a neurotransmitter. Uh, yeah, GABA is one of our brain neurotransmitters associated with calming. And this is my take on it, guys. Let's look for whole food ways to get our neurotransmitters yeah. in balance. Let's take the time to do mindful, you know, meditation and prayer time and mm-hmm. get recentered because our neurotransmitters come into sync when we balance our parasympathetic, our calming, rejo- restorative part of our nervous system and our sympathetic, which is our fight or flight, you know. Yeah. You know. And I don't know uh, the question was is uh, this GABA work for balance? I'm not really sure. I don't know the answer to that. I'll try to find out, but well, I will yeah. tell you what GABA does is is a, is creating a, a a calming effect. What I'm concerned about when we get into a big part of um you know, supplementing a particular neurotransmitter is that again, we're interfering with a natural bio um natural feedback loop. So if we get too much of something, then our body shuts off that production and we may get an imbalance of the other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what I sense. use for my clients when I suspect neurotransmitter imbalance, uh, and I use biofeedback and kinesiology to determine this, uh, I make food recommendations, but I have a spray called NeuroBalance Pro. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I like it because it's got a homeopathic dilution of all the you know, neurotransmitters, and I let the wisdom of the body uh, with the frequency and the energy make the decision on what it needs to make. That makes a lot of sense to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, I've got a couple of other things here, but the, they're kind of in-depth, so I don't think I want to go into those. But I'm excited. Uh, a couple of things are happening. Of course, I'm in the midst of training for the uh, Pan-American uh, We're so Jiu-Jitsu. proud of you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, uh, it's going to be a real challenge mm-hmm. uh, because this will be my first black belt competition, and uh, my competitors, uh, one of them that I uh, was reading uh, that he signed up, and he's he became a black belt when I started Jiu-Jitsu. Wow. So he's long in there, which is really good good for me because uh, then I can really see if uh, you know what I'm doing and uh, how hard it is and uh, up my game, That's which is fantastic. really what it's all about. Training uh, very strenuous. I'm training uh, about five days a week, and on Saturdays we do what we call Pan Am training, where we we uh, normally start. Uh, from our knees and battle that way, but uh, on Saturday we stand up because that's how we start in the in the these competitions, which is a, more of a challenge. It tires you out a little bit more, uh, and then you try to get the guy through the ground, or he tries to get you to the ground, and you go from there. How many weeks before you go? Uh, it's about uh, six weeks, uh, five weeks of training, and then I'm taking a week off and flying out there on a Thursday. I fight on a Saturday, coming back on a Monday. Mm. So you have to look for a guest that week or get Tom we'll or uh, yeah, Allie we'll. to uh, come on here. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm enjoying the training. It's very strenuous, and uh, I'm uh, kind of on that edge between uh, where I'm going to overtrain or undertrain, and I want to kind of stay right in the, in the right spot. So it's kind of a tricky situation. You don't want to do too much. The other night I had uh, a little uh, restless sleep. I goes, okay, tone it down just a little bit. That, that's what life is all about, You're folks. Listening to Challenging your own body. yourself. Yes. Listen to your own body. Thanks for sticking around, folks. Uh, we're out of time. So see you next week. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery in pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before, for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start, and experienced traders take advantage of the trend like never before experience the power of the roads momentum indicator each day available to subscribers of my newsletter service mastering probability i guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend mastering probability available on the home page of tfnn.com and folks live with passion you're watching tiger tv